Hey guys, it's Moon Pies again uh, with your weekly how to make money on YouTube, how to improve your video channels, how to get more exposure on this awesome website that Google has given us workshop. This is week six of this 10 week series and as promised, uh, I'm going through people's channels uh, that they've asked to be reviewed and I'll be honest with you, I've gotten far more requests for channel reviews than I'll be able to do over these next few weeks. Um, so my plan is after this 10 week uh, workshop uh, to go back and do a few of the regular uh, two Tuesday videos, but then I'll open up the workshop again, uh, you know, for a second season, uh, so to speak. All right, I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Badass Andy here. And right off the bat, I mean, I hadn't checked out his channel, uh, which is a shame because he has posted on a few of my videos before. And uh, just around YouTube, he's one of the more friendlier YouTube uh, 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 community members out there. And, and it shows, uh, you know, you can see he has 560 subscribers, a lot of posts on, on his on his comment board, 821. Uh, so he's obviously done a great job of engaging the community, far more than I have and far more than probably you have. So you can obviously learn a lot from him. Uh, his videos, uh, for the most part, uh, you know, if you go by something called Badass Andy, uh, he's not getting into fights or anything. He's basically just uh, um, downing beers. Uh, it could be a 40-ounce Magnum or, or, or a 16-ounce Rolling Rock. Uh, um, you know, uh, he just goes through different things, and that's pretty much the extent of his, I guess you could call this a vlog, in the fact that he just goes through a beer, uh, you know, takes a few drags on a cigarette, uh, you know, has a few observations and calls it a vlog. So obviously there's a gimmick there, there's a, you know, and I don't want to say it's a gimmick, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a, I guess it's a lifestyle, but it's a hook. Um, it, it's obviously something that, that's not something that's just me when I'm sitting in front of my camera, a webcam. Uh, you know, there's there's obviously a little bit more, you know, personality and life to what he's doing there. And obviously right off the bat, uh, you know, with YouTube, uh, you know, they are pretty particular about their age-restricted content. And you would think a guy, you know, you know, downing 40 ounces of, you know, malt liquor uh, would be the kind of stuff that would send, uh, you know, YouTube in a frenzy. Uh, but it seems that either he has, he's getting some ads on his channel, so he's either a partner or he's been able to get revenue share on some of his videos. So well done to him. Uh, the one thing I noticed and you know, I'm. It's it's. I probably the only suggestion I really have for Andy here because he's doing everything right and engaging the community and he keeps making videos. Uh, is in in one of his earlier videos this month, he promotes his website, which is actually a blogger account. Now this is this is something that I would have suggested anyway because, um, you know, this is the kind of content where especially. Maybe not so much like I'm drinking a beer and I'm talking, but there are a lot of beer collectors out there collecting beer cans and stuff like that. And he does have a video, uh, um, you know, in his thing, actually going over his beer collection, but most of his videos, they show uh, a lot of the beers that he's destroyed over the years, over the months or weeks. Um, I don't know his timeline. But what I have noticed is that he did promote a, a blog. Um, yet when I go to his profile page, I don't see it here. It's not here. And... Um, the website, when he has a website here, it's actually his email address with, a, with an HTTP before it, so that's not grammatically correct. You click on that, you won't go anywhere since it's a, an email address in there. But right there in the website is where he should put his blog, without a doubt. And also within his actual video, um, especially all his new videos, even his old videos, that you know, go to the ones that have gotten the most viewed, um, and you can go back here to um, some that have gotten you know thousands of views, uh, 2,500 you know, 2, views for this one uh, from 10 months ago. And put links to the blog, um, or at least links to the to the channel homepage, um, and reference the blog because you won't be able to link to an external blog right off from the page. But you can link to the channel, um, or check out my blog description below, and then in the description add the blog to the description, which is something that he doesn't do. Uh, but for the most part, obviously, you know, uh, you know, the the entrepreneur in me would say, you know. You know, Andy. You know these videos are great. But every every once in a while, maybe a you know a review of a certain brew. Uh, you know, go over the collections. You know, try to get, make it a more educational piece. But you know, if I get down to it, if you would do that, it would probably slow his style, cramp his style from what he's trying to do here. So, um, you know, maybe a second channel for something like that, if he even would want to. Uh, but you know, just something that's more monetizable uh, would be you know just delving to the kind of stuff that people would be searching for and and more, um, you know. Less entertainment and more education, I guess. I'm not sure if that's even necessary, really. Andy's doing a great job. And, yeah, just, just fix the page. You know, promote the website. Promote the blog a little more, Andy. Uh, and, you know, and cheers to you, buddy. And the second and final video I'm going to be looking at this week is Does Andy Know? And that's D-U-Z-A-N-D-Y-K-N-O-W. So I went from Badass Andy, Mr. Badass Andy, to Does Andy Know? 
Um, was that intentional? Do I create a theme like I did last week where I go, went through my three collaborators? Um, maybe. I'll take it. Um, anyway, let's go. Up. Um, he, um, you know, he basically uh, does a good job of describing uh, what his friend Andy's videos are about. So um, I'm making a pretty unique comedy documentary Q&A series of mostly good quality material. I just don't seem to be pulling in the numbers that I should be, though. I'm 88 episodes in. And this was a few weeks ago. He's already 92 episodes in. Um, but marketing has been hard. There's very little else like it. The closest is Carl Pilkington. And then commentary reply bids bring his fanboy trolls to me saying I'm copying, which I'm not. Keywords, too, are hard here. I do have some diehard fans that love it, so I know it's a small niche, but I need to grow it a bit. Okay, so let's check out the channel. Um, and, whoa. All right, so let's check it out. Um, here we get to the channel, and as you can see... Um, it has 597 subscribers, so that the crowd base is building. Um, upload views 17,600. So it's not really, you know, the, the episodes, you know, are basically in the tens and the occasionally hundreds, uh, but not the kind of, you know, blog traffic that you expect. That you know, a pretty clever series uh, I was looking at. And just if you're not familiar with Carl Pilkington, who's the, um, the 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 guy that he was saying that he was, you know, being referred to as copying here, um, Ricky Gervais and and Steve, uh, uh, you know the two uh, uh, brilliant British comedians and writers behind The Office, and obviously all the Ricky Gervais stuff. Um, they have a blog series uh, with Carl Pilkington, who's a um, a slow witted, but not uh, he doesn't have any mental disabilities. He's just a slow witted third person who has wild answers. Um, almost, you know, it's almost like you know those kids say the darndest thing shows, except it's almost like grown ups say the darndest things. So, you know, pretty much. Uh, um, it, it, this does copy Carl's Pilkins and what, what, what Steve and, and, and Ricky Gervais do to, to, to Carl in the sense that, you know, they are asking, putting someone in situations and in, giving them questions uh, just to get their unique perspective. But that doesn't mean, you know, if a second person stands on stage and does comedy, that doesn't make him a copycat stand-up stand -up comedian, obviously. So uh, I think, you know, the, the best thing is embracing the fact that this is a lot, this is the kind of stuff that fans of Ricky Gervais and Steve Merchant would enjoy. Uh, and Carl Pilkington, of course. So uh, instead of being worried about the trolls or saying they're copying, embrace it, work it, because that will be um, your biggest audience with this channel. And a few things I noticed down here. First of all, is it's there's an FAQ that explains everything, so you know that you know he's not just picking on him as his good friend. Um, and if we go further down, and he has been either made a partner or someone's putting ads on this. I assume he uh, that, that that the channel's already been made a, into accepted into the YouTube partnership program. If you go further down, um, all the way into like let's say 254, I think around there, yeah, around there. Uh, if you'll see, the ad's still here, but the caption goes over the ad. And a lot of times, when the people are making videos, they don't realize, they don't think that hey, one day I'm going to be a YouTube partner, and there's going to be an ad right here down at the bottom fifth of my screen. Uh, so they put captions there and stuff. And what this does, if someone's watching this, they may just X out the ad, and there goes the revenue sharing opportunity right there. Um, so it's better if you can caption at the top, at the side, wherever you find a spot, or maybe a little higher, just so you know that you're not above, you know, where the box would be for the ads. And another thing, at the very beginning, at the very first four seconds of all these videos, uh, there's an Arctic Monkey song that's playing. And I'm usually not, I understand, uh, it, it's artistically, it's always cool to have, you know, if you're trying to create equity in a, in a brand, it, have a catchy theme song, it's what every television show has. Except most of us obviously don't have the ability to record or write something catchy. So we wind up using recorded material. And I think the problem is that, you know, there's obviously copyright. Even for a four-second clip, there's copyright issues. And if YouTube ever does a song match, they may take down all the videos. Especially some of the early videos that has more of the song later on in the video. Um, so um, if I have one advice is, you know, skip the theme song or come up with something, you know, uh, mildly creative. There's plenty of, of common, uh, you know, creative commons music that can be had there. Uh, you know, it's, recording software is very easy. You can just get Audible and put some instruments in the background. There are ways to create a short little jingle. Um, it, sure, it's not going to be, you know, Hollywood-ready catchy, uh, but it'll work. And as far as keywords and, and, and stuff like that, yeah, it's obviously hard because what, this is almost, if you remember Hot for Words, uh, which was, you know, one of the early YouTube celebrities, a smoking hot, was her name Mariella? I forget what her name was. Um, but, you know, who would basically come out and skip the outfits and give the proper definitions. He was very smart. Uh, definitions of words and origins of words. This is almost not hot for words. Um, 
And, you know, I mean, it's not that, obviously, you know, Does Andy Know is a brandable channel of itself, so there's no reason to go with a, you know, a not so hot for words or something that would play off into, into the popular series. But this video should be using these videos as either responses to hot for words or reaching out to that audience that's looking for the right definitions for something lighthearted and, and, and eclectic and more human, uh, so to speak. And obviously reaching out these videos to the same Ricky Gervais fans who will attack, yet at the end of the day, they realize, hey, this is sort of in the style of what Carl's doing. Uh, um, but it's, it's obviously there's only so much Carl to go around, and this is just a, a, a great proxy for someone who enjoys that type of observational, uh, just, you know, human interviews uh, type of, of comedy. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's good stuff. Uh, I enjoyed it and I am subscribing. There you go. And, and just so you know, I, I, I have uh, gotten uh, some flack for the buttons when I'm actually subscribing and I'm not subscribing to some of these channels that I'm reviewing. Uh, for the most part, I will eventually subscribe to all of these just because, you know, I, I want to see if they follow up on my tips. If I don't click, click, physically click subscribe on it, it's not a, condemnation or, 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 or vindication or whatever the case may be. I do want to get to everybody and watch as much as I can. But that's basically it for this week. Um, yeah, just embrace the attacks because at the end of the day, um, you know, if, if people are saying you're a copycat or you're imitating somebody, um, it is a compliment. And if there is some truth to it, then play up to the same people, it, it, you know. Um, how many bands out there were saying that they were influenced by the Beatles? And, you know, they may be called Beatles copycats at first, uh, you know. Uh, um, but, hey, you know, eventually they, you create your own sound and, and people realize, hey, this is in the same vein. They have the same influences and they like it. So um, no reason to change that. No reason to change anything. Obviously, with, with the fact that the, these videos that they are, quality, interesting, thought-provoking uh, uh, discussions, uh, and they're just getting in the tens of views and some of them in the hundreds if I go further down, um, you know, you do need to reach out to the people who are going to flame you at first and attack you at first because that's the audience that this is catered for, the people who enjoy the Carl Pilkington videos and uh, the Carl Pilkington blogs and the Carl Pil Pilkington uh, HBO series where he goes around the world. And it wasn't Mariella. It's actually Marina was the Hot Wards channel. And no, I'm not reviewing her channel, um, but I did want to add that a good place uh, for, for to be posting that does Andy knows uh, make comments is on the hot for words videos. Uh, for instance, in this video uh, from earlier this year, she goes over you know how the French kiss uh, was invented, and she goes through all these other videos where popular words are coming in and stuff like that. And this would be a great opportunity for what I called uh, earlier this year in a video called gorilla commenting. And basically, it's, um, you know, when you have a video coming up, a, a new Does Andy Knows video coming up, um, go to a Hot for Words video um, and find, you know, put, you know, watch the video, obviously, and add something relevant to the conversation so it doesn't get tagged to spam. Uh, you know, so your thoughts on how the origin of a word or whatever the case may be. And then at the end, at the end of the comment, just put, um, you know, you know, you're so much smarter than my friend Andy. You know, he doesn't even know what the word bison is. I'm going to upload that. I'll upload that video, to, you know, in a week or tomorrow. Or if you if you don't want to do gorilla commenting, just do it like you did it before. You know, I just uploaded a video um, where he, you know, doesn't know the, you know, what a cockerel is um, or something to that extent. And, you know, you can reach out to people who have an interest in words and definitions um, and it doesn't have to be people flaming you for, for the Carl Pilkington, uh, you know, similarities. You can actually go out there and hit a popular YouTube celebrity with almost 500,000 subscribers, uh, which Marina has. And I don't mean spam her channel or anything like that. But, you know, just add to the conversation. And then in passing, um, you know, if, if, if your comment gets flagged as spam, you didn't do a good job of it. And it probably deserves to get flagged for spam. But if you can pitch something in someone's channel effectively... Um, by adding to the conversation, moving it along, and being a member of the community, nine times out of ten, 99 times out of 100, uh, people will let it slide, and a lot of people will check it out. So you need to be somewhere visible, and uh, there are probably other channels like Hot for Words out there where, where it would be a perfect place to post. And, yeah, I hadn't seen Marina in a while, sorry. And one more tip here, um, looking over his uh, his tags, and he was he did say he has problem with tags because it's hard to tag this. You know, um, for starters, every single word um, that is defined in the videos, um, you know, like bison in this case, and 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 cockerel um, in this last video, 
those should be tags because it's if people it, it relates to it and also once again quotes folks use quotes if you put does Andy and no as three keywords it's only going to show up if someone clicks D-U-Z A-N-D-Y or searches for K-N-O-W it's not going to happen if you want to brand your show just put it in quotes quotes D-U-Z space A-N-D-Y space K-N-O-W quotes and it'll show up that way and but yeah I mean here with the tags Every word that, that Andy's trying to define here, um, go for it. There's no reason to do it. And, and here's the Arctic Monkeys uh, reference here at the end. I mean, giving them credit is nice, but it's not going to get uh, YouTube uh, from, you know, going after it if there is a, a, a song match dispute. So, um, you know, I know, I know. It's, it's part of the color and the personality of this, and it's only four seconds. But it's something that should probably um, be taken care of sooner rather than later. So great job, Robert, and I hope you're splitting the money with Andy. I hope you're not taking advantage of him with this uh, if, you would, if you did finally become a YouTube partner because the two of you have something cool going here, and I'm sure it'll grow in the future. Just keep at it and go for the people that are flaming you because that's your biggest audience down the line. This is Moon Pies, and I will see you next week.